Starting off with my NYX HD concealer and my NARS Chantilly concealer. I'm going to put that underneath my eyes, then using a damp beauty blender, I'm going to bounce the beauty blender around and cover my hideous dark circles. Oh, look at those bags. Oh my goodness, look at the difference. They're gone. Putting a dab of the primer on each cheek, then with my Amazonia Clay foundation, I'm going to be putting that on my cheeks. Using another damp beauty blender, I'm going to use the fatter surface and just dab it all over my red cheeks just to hide the redness. Now going in with my NARS face powder, I'm going to be just putting that anywhere I get oily, which is my forehead, my nose, and my chin. Now, going in with my Creme de Couture collection by Sigma, Macaroon Inspired, I'm going to be using that purple row of the colors. To start off, I'm going to go in with my NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Milk, and I'm going to put that all over my eyelids. This makes a great base for any vibrant colors that you really want to make pop. So you just put that all over the lid, and then you're going to dab it around with your finger. Don't smear because then it just becomes too sheer. When you dab, it puts a lot more product in one area. With my Sigma E55 brush, I'm going in with Violet Whip, and I'm going to be putting that color right there, just on my inner corner making sure to get enough product on the inner corner to really make a nice purple white effect. Now with the same brush I'm going in with Lavender Honey and that color is going to be going all over the center part of the lid. You really want to build it upwards into the crease. It's such a beautiful color like a soft purpley pastel pink. I just, it's gorgeous. You just want to do the same exact thing to both eyes, just work it straight up into the crease. Now with the same brush, I'm going in with Cassis, I hope that's how you pronounce it, that really nice vibrant purple color right there, and that is going to be going just on the outer corner and working a little bit into the crease, just to give a really gorgeous gradient effect. Putting the same amount on the other outer corner and just working it lightly into the crease. You can add as much color as you want to make it really vibrant. The more color the better in my opinion. With my E30 brush by Sigma, I'm going in with that color Elderberry and that's going just on the outer corner of each eye and slowly working it a little bit up into the crease. Now you don't need a lot of product, but you do need just a little bit just to give that nice smoky edge effect on the eye. Now I'm using a makeup remover wipe and I'm just taking out the corners of each eye just to give a nice sharp effect. Now using my beauty blender, I'm just going to cover up little red areas around there just to give a nicer sharp effect. Now with my E55 brush, I'm going in with the same elderberry color and just caking on a bit more just to give a nice edge. Really working that product on the outer corner and a little bit into the crease. You really just want to make this look as smooth and airbrushed as you can without looking too choppy because of the dark color. With my Sigma EO5 brush, I'm just going in with each different color, the light to the dark, and applying that to my lower lash line. Now for brows, I'm going in with my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the color Soft Brown. Using my E65 Sigma brush, I'm going to be now doing my brows. So starting from the inner brow, I'm just going to line the bottom and then line the top. It's pretty self-explanatory when you watch my videos how I do my eyebrows. The difference in an undone and then a 
done eyebrow is crazy. Like, wow. <laughs> I won't record my other brow just to save you guys the boredom. So I'm going to go in with my F70 Sigma brush for concealer and I'm just going to use a little bit of my NARS concealer and dot it underneath each eyebrow just to give a nice crisp effect and then smooth that concealer line out. See how much, like how perfect and just awesome it looks when you line the brow with the concealer? Go ahead and do the same thing to your other brow bone. Using my Sephora number 15 matte palette and my E55 Sigma brush, I'm just going to be putting that color all over the brow bone and just blending it in to the edge of the purple just to give a nice soft gradient effect so it's not a harsh line. And it's time for blush. Going with my Creme de Couture Cherry Apple Blush and my F30 Powder Brush. I'm just going to be applying that to the apples on my cheeks and working it backwards up my cheekbone. Using my holy grail of liquid liners, my Physician's Formula 2-in-1 Eyelash Serum, I'm going to create a very thin cat eye liner wing majiggy thingy. I don't know what the hell to call it. But you want to keep the line very thin because this look is already overpowering. You don't need a big thick layer of eyeliner to make it look too gaudy. Hopefully I'm not the only one who does this, but I start with just the inner corner on each eye, and then I do the wing on each eye, then I fill it in. Is that weird, or is there other people who do that? But I do one thing at a time, and then connect it. Yeah. Sorry with how long this liner clip is, you just, you all know how crazy anal I am with making sure it is precise, so just wanted to include it. Using my Makeup Forever sample mascara, I'm just going to do my lashes on each eye, then do the bottom lashes on each eye. You guys kind of know how to do mascara, right? So. There you go. Now here's the finished look. You can pair it with some falsies if you want. I didn't really feel like it, but here's the look, just regular. Hi everyone, it's Caitlin here. This is a collaboration video with the lovely Riza. She had commented on one of my videos about the blush that I always wear, which is the Sigma Grim de Couture cherry apple blush. It is their macaroon inspired, inspired, inspired collection. She commented on my video saying, oh my god, I'm not the only one who freaking uses this. This is awesome. We should totally do a collaboration on the eyeshadow that came with the collection. And here we are. This case is just adorable packaging. Like, look at that. It's just, it's adorable. Unfortunately, this is no longer available to buy on the Sigma website. I managed to snag it a year ago when it was available. So here's a look at some of the eyeshadows. Like you can see just the pigment, it's like a soft pastel look to them. Now with this eyeshadow, you do want to have a white base. I recommend in the tutorial that you just watched, the NYX Milk Jumbo eye pencil and you use that as a base before you put the eyeshadow on and it will give you just unbelievable pigment with it. Uh, if you don't use a white base you won't get as great, of a, great as an effect with using it. So I do suggest wearing the white base first. But the colors that I'm wearing are the Violet Whip, Lavender Honey, Cassis, and Elderberry. So this whole purple row is what I am wearing. The blushes that came with this were, of course, the cherry apple that you guys see me use all the time. Here is the color of it. The strawberry ambrosia, the one that I used to wear a little, but not much anymore, just because it was just too, too soft pink, if that makes any sense. 
but yes this is the strawberry borgia that i used to wear it is the blackberry essence one this color is excellent for darker skin tones purple just really pops on it so that is the complete collection of the sigma cream de couture now this is the look that i created with it as you can see in the back in the side here i have a purple beautiful orchids that i got from my boyfriend for my birthday when i was sitting here deciding what color i was going to do for this tutorial i saw the flowers in the corner of my eye and i started to do purpley pink it just happened but it turned out really well because it almost looks like one of the flower petals i'm really happy with how it turned out the gradient effect the sharp edges it just looks really nice not to sound too conceited i fucking like it <laughs> so right here you will find rise's picture and this picture will link you to her makeup for this collaboration video please check out her video her channel she is a very talented girl her makeup is just unbelievable don't forget to like favorite and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me don't forget to like favorite and subscribe to Riza as well because she's so talented comment below if there is a look that you would like to see from this palette in the future or comment below what what you liked about this look, what you didn't like about this look, or any other makeup tutorial that you would like to see in the future. It doesn't have to be this palette, it can be any palette that I have. So stay tuned guys, and stay beautiful. Bye. Hey, so this is the makeup look that I, I sneeze again. Hey,